Pola as well. And for Wallis and Futuna, also a very strong lineup. Seven minutes each way. And we're talking about a football field 68 metres wide. There's a lot of room and a lot of space for just seven players to cover hard enough with 15, let alone with just seven. It's been an area where the rugby world has been dominated by the Pacific in recent years. Oh, well, Wallace and Fortuna will kick off this uh, match. And of course, we have a nice cloud cover up here at uh, Corman Stadium. As the first match of the Rugby Sevens competition gets underway here. And it's straight into the hands of uh, the Nauru Open Hema, of course, out there. It's always uh, great players. Good start here from Nauru. But the uh, ball has gone back into Wallace's hands. Good work from the, the Wallace and Fortuna players there to get back position. It goes through the middle. Through Talau. Then they spin it out wide. Sofinga. The other way. Very physical at the moment from Wallace and Fortuna. They've got numbers out here. Sokotaisa. Trying to beat the opponent. Gets it back. A bit scrappy. Good time with the ball. Wallace and Fortuna. Just the Nauru defense line. Staying well organized and structured. And it has been interesting and satisfying to watch these two countries develop over the years. The more and more they get exposure to this type of competition, the better it is for the program and development of the game. Doug Yarrow, one of the uh, five players from the uh, team that represented their country at the uh, 2015 Pacific Games in PNG. So we've got a nice break here. The pass is good to open Hammer. He backs himself, and this will be the first try going to Nauru's way. It's their captain, Kenneth Oppenheimer. The ball right under the sticks. Oh, did he drop it? Tremendous finishing by Nauru and a very skillful pass that set that up as well for the captain Oppenheimer to get the job done. But a very creative piece of running and passing from Jeremiah who delivered the ball for the captain Oppenheimer. They started from inside their own half. Oh, well, certainly give them a lot of confidence. Open Hamer, he was in fantastic form at the recent Oceania Sevens in Suva, Fiji last month. And mistake there from uh, Nauru gives uh, this Wallace and Fortuna side a chance in this game. To four. Spread it out quickly, finding the gaps through. Good work from Wallace and Fortuna. They take it down. Cut back. Recycle Delighted quickly back to the uh, right. Going through the middle is Langi Kula. You're not offside, offside. Number two. Offside there from uh, Nauru. Dufua. Looking for the gap. It's good. Pass inside. Well done from Wallis and Fortuna, very close open Heymar. The last line of defense there for Nauru. They've got a chance at the corner, going back in and he scores. The leveler. What Good goal. response from Wallis and Fortuna. An outstanding construction as well from the Wallis and Fortuna team. There was a, several Nauru defenders that were in position and just their ability to keep the ball alive and especially offload in the tackle. Now there's the end part of the try. But it was very well set up in the build-up and then a nice left foot step at the end of it to get the try scored. 
from John Eves Ulatuka. So there's the uh, try scorer, John Eves. The conversion unfortunately going astray. So Nauru hang on to the lead, 7-5. back spare rate well just two points separating these two teams there was a nice catch there from uh, Nauru's uh, Jeremiah who set up the uh, try earlier on and running along the uh, trams here is uh, the big number eight Lloyd Gunipola And he's been dominant. Bonnie Bullock is playing out on the left side on attack. You can see he's a tremendous size. He's hard to deal with in a one on one situation, but he's also quick, as evidenced by his ability to run 50 metres and get the try under the post. Bonnie Bullock. An outstanding showing of size, strength, and speed. There's the ball and the right hand fend. And then he ran a good 50 metres and scored under the post. Great play from uh, Bundy Paula. Push back goal. To goal. So two evenly matched teams here. In the first match of the Rugby Sevens competition has been going, it's been a seesaw affair at the moment. Nauru scored the first points through open Hema. Uh, it was a good reply from uh, Wallace Play. and Fortuna. But Nauru currently with the lead. As Wallace and Fortuna have the ball. Backward. Passes to no one. It's loose. And quickly onto it is open Hema on the outside, but it's gone into touch. Yeah, Fakatika for Wallace. Fortuna, he had an opportunity just inside their own half, but they couldn't complete the play. So they have the throw of the lining up, but they've lost about 20 metres on the play. Okay. Open, go! Just seconds to go before the um, half time. Wallis and Fortuna have the ball, the nice breakthrough there. But the ball's gone back to uh, Nauru. They've got numbers out wide. And Open Hamer finds his way to the try line once again. And it's been a fantastic display from this young man. Yes, the captain of the team has led from the front with just seconds to go in the first half of the first game. And Oppenheimer, who scored a thrilling try on the right hand side of the park to open the scoring for his team, repeats the play. This time down the left side so it's three unconverted tries in the first half for Nauru well that hasn't been converted but um, it's half time here and Nauru currently leading Wallace and Fortuna 15 points to five half time Oppenheimer on the end that play. Stick up people. So they take a 15 point to five lead into the halftime break. And what has yeah. been a quality display from Nauru. Anything? Anything?
Well, we're ready for the uh, second half. Nauru will uh, kick off the uh, second half, of course. They're currently leading. And it's been a great display from them so far, Ken. It has been three good Pretty tries. Right. They probably only had four scoring oh. opportunities in the first half, and they can they were able to convert three of them into tries. And it's just a slight drizzle here. Oh, that was a gift ball right into his hands and they start the second half well Nauru it's uh, Kamtora who scores another one for them well they started the second half the way they finished the first half Nauru they hit a ball they had good hang time in the air and there was a Wallace and Fortuna player who competed for it but it was Kamtora who came away with the try after they secured the ball. Terrific start to the second half. Score from number 10, Kamtora, which is number 24. Well, that exposure at the uh, Oceania Sevens last month for Nauru has certainly done well for them. As that uh, kick doesn't go the 10. And so they gifted the ball back to Wallace and Fortuna. Another chance here for them. They can get a try and really contest this match. Good interplay from Wallace and Fortuna. Taken forward there by Jean Nivez. Say Lolo. Spread out again. They've got numbers out wide. There's a long advantage. This is a wonderful opportunity for Wallace and Fortuna on the 22. Oh, nice quick passing. And it's uh, Jean Nivez who goes in for his second. Well, they had to be the next team to score. So that will advance the score to 20 points to 10 with a little under five minutes left to play in the match, which is a long time in sevens. But a nice, quick right-to-left transfer. And Jean Eves with the finish. Well, it was really a mistake from uh, the kickoff by Nauru that um, handed now. Wallace and Fortuna this opportunity and they've converted it into points. Unfortunately, that conversion went astray. So another chance here for Wallace and Fortuna if they can regather from the kickoffs. And of course, kickoffs have become such an important part of the game like in Yes, very important in sevens to have the ball. It's another mistake from Nauru. Yes, Asanante, the kickoffs are so important determining the result of the game. Placements here for it's, uh, Miguel Talao. Wait, wait, wait. Number 10, Ray. Number 10. Number 10. Swinging Replacement up. there for Wallace and Fortuna. Oh, and it's a yellow card. So only six players on the field for Wallace and Fortuna. Wait. Oh, well, that's not going to help them. Hard enough with seven attackers on seven defenders, let alone seven on six. So a numerical advantage for Nauru, and they just need to keep the ball alive, and they will put Wallace and Fortuna under enormous pressure. Good work there from Nauru to keep the ball in play. As they spread it quickly to the right. Great footwork there. And the pass out wide is good from Nauru, but, oh, the referee has called them back. Pass went forward. Well, that was their opportunity to get a try while their opposition 
We're down by one. There's the pressure on the tackle, forced the ball forward. So it will mean that Wallace and Fortuna, even though only six players, at least they have the ball. So we're just currently experiencing a light drizzle as well here at Corman Stadium. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, football Rouch. action over Five. the um, first four days of the competition. And um, of course, Wallace and Fortuna. We'll have a chance here. And rugby, of course, was introduced in Wallace and Fortuna by the French. And they first played in 1966 during the uh, Pacific Games. But it's uh, certainly taken off. Good work here by Wallace, but they've left the ball behind. Advantage. Straight to open Hamer. He's dangerous with the ball. Pass it out wide. And he's going to have too much speed out wide. As Jeremiah Cam goes in for Nauru's uh, fifth try. Oh, it's unlucky for Wallace and Fortuna. They look like they had the game under control, even though. They just had the six players on the park, and then they lost control of the ball. And Oppenheimer, who's with the ball now, the captain, he gives the final pass for Khan, who runs away from the last defender. Well constructed and good finish. It's a nice hanging ball. Gave time for his um, forwards to contest it. But unfortunately, it went forward. But well, that's it. It's full time here. And uh, Nauru, of course, with the win over Wallace and Fortuna. Ladies and gentlemen, the final score is Wallace with 10 points and Nauru 31.